Hello and welcome to this episode of Cool Geophysics with Blueback Reservoir. I'm your host Bruce Chammers and in this episode I'm going to show you how to make some seismic net pay maps using our seismic reservoir characterization tool. So the seismic net pay tool estimates thickness and net pay in thin reservoirs by factoring for the effects of tuning. It's based on the approach by Connolly. Uh, it works by specifying a tuning wedge or designing a tuning wedge using uh, a filter or a wavelet. You input an impedance cube uh, and a top and base reservoir and then you produce a seismic net to gross or net pay uh, map. Uh, this works by um, producing different uh, maps um, and in this example I'm going to create a Petrel workflow to allow you to run through different iterations uh, of this tool to produce some different results. So let's take a look how that can be done in Petrel. The first thing we're going to do is say insert new workflow um, and then I get this workflow editor dialog in Petrel. I'm going to give this a new name, call it SRC. Just expand this a little bit so it's easier to see. And the first thing I'm going to do is add in the two processes that I'm going to run. So if I click on processes and here at the bottom you see the blueback toolbox and then the reservoir characterization and I'm going to create a impedance cube using this tool and then make a net pay map. So this first tool works by projecting an intercept and gradient together at a specified angle but what I'm going to do in this example is use a loop to run through different angles between a specified range. So let's just add the loop here, then also remember to have a end loop. And here you can see I will run this loop. I'm going to call my variable chi angle. Let's run it from 0 to 60. And then let's do it at an increment of every 15 degrees. So this tool from 0 to 60 degrees every 15 degrees will run through create an impedance cube using EEI and then create seismic net pay. Now let's go ahead and fill in the rest of the uh, settings here that we need. So let's choose some data to use. Let's choose my intercept and gradient here then let's also specify a top and base. Let's say this is the top and this is the base here. Then what I need to do is to get an impedance cube from the first tool and pass it to the second one. So here I have to use the Petrel variables. So I'm going to choose variable A. So I'm going to output from the first step to variable A and then pass that variable into the second step. Then let's add in some numbers here. So instead of using a fixed number we're going to use our chi variable from 0 to 60 to run through the different iterations. And then let's just check the rest of the options. If I double click on any of the boxes here it will expose the tool and you can check the different options here like for example which filter you want to use which you, things you want to output let's just say seismic net to gross and net pay time and press OK. Uh, it's always important to uh, test these little workflows before you try running them. There's a button here to do that so we can click test. It tells me if I have any things missing so here I'm missing a suffix in one of the volumes so let's find that. Let's give it the uh, variable as a suffix or maybe something like that so it gets a name and then the number of the angle. Let's test again. Okay again I need to input a suffix so let's say net pay plus the angle. Check it again it runs okay. Now I'm ready to run this workflow and produce some different maps. I'm just going to pause the video while that runs. Let's click run. Okay that process completed successfully so let's take a look at the results it's produced. 
Here you see I have my uh, set of uh, surfaces and under each surface I have uh, different attributes for each one and you can see that it's got the name plus the angle at which it was created so let's make uh, a nice display here let's look at maybe f just four of them and tile these windows like so and let's say my zero degrees seismic net to gross and my 15 degrees seismic net to gross and if I just make sure the color is balanced here so here you can see I've created two net to, net to gross maps using a different angle on the impedance cube and I created that in one go by using the workflow editor so it shows you that uh, these five lines of code in the workflow editor can run through steps in multiple iterations and produce a set of results for a number of different um, variables in one given uh, uh, run. Just to uh, finish off here, I just want to show you the dialog. So if you access the tool manually, this is how it looks and you just can run through one step at a time if that's what you're comfortable with. Um, so here you can design your tuning wedge um, specify your top and base, apply some seismic calibration, and then define your, define your outputs. So as always, please give it a go and let us know how you get on. Uh, and for more information or for access to this workflow, please contact us at uh, our support. Thanks for listening. Bye.